Yo, 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 we back once again with the True Hip Hop Podcast. It's your boy DJ Blaze, and I'm back in the building with a very special guest. This guy is the owner of the Pop Up Shop, an expiring entrepreneur, <laughs> and an expiring art, musician, artist. <laughs> yes, sir. A1 Reek. What's up, my man? Not much. How you doing, DJ Blaze? I'm doing great, man. Great to have you finally on the show, man. Oh, yeah, pleasure to be on the show. Pleasure. But before we get started, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Yes, like, sir. comment, and share. It helps us out tremendously on the algorithm. But you cats ain't been subscribing, so hit that bell. <laughs> and make sure it's all <laughs> notification, man. We just finna just dive onto it, Reek, man. You know what I'm saying? Tell us about this pop-up shop that's coming up. All right, so we got the Cupid's Corner pop-up shop coming up February 10th, and that's gonna be at 3 p.m. Show up 3 p.m. We're gonna have DJ Blaze spinning on the ones and twos, going crazy, playing all the oldies and the new joints. So make sure y'all pop out. We're gonna have Greg Morris hosting I know if anybody know Greg, you already know he's a comedian. So you already know you're gonna be thoroughly entertained. Then you're gonna have a lot of different vendors that's gonna be presenting some of the hottest things in the city as far as entrepreneurs coming up with their own items. So make sure you pop out and buy some nice for your boo. You know, I'm gonna also have the uh, Smokers Daily Blunt Spray for all my people that are cannabis enthusiasts and you like to smoke. Make sure that you discreet when you're going out. It might be a business opportunity available and you might X yourself out because, oh, maybe the person that's gonna give you the opportunity doesn't really care for cannabis. So at least do yourself that one flavor, that one favor of giving yourself some flavor, uh, 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 and make yeah. sure that you smell good so that way you're knocking out that odor and you can continue to enjoy what you do in the privacy or wherever you do it. So how did you get into the cannabis business you know what I'm saying? Because I know it's not an easy business to get into, especially, mm -hmm. are you a grower? And how did you get into it? So really, I just take the angle on the media side. Now, when I was a little bit younger, I was like 23, that's when I kind of got into the promotion scene of doing events and parties. And right. that's when I kind of learned that, you know, one of my greatest things is marketing, mm -hmm. coming up with creative strategies on social media on how to get people's attention. So. After I did that, my first event and noticed the traction I got, I'm like, okay, now how can I jump in the cannabis scene as, you know, things are becoming legalized to capitalize off it. So I'm like, okay, why not create a marketing platform and figure out a way to monetize it in a lucrative way so where I can connect with dispensaries or different smoke companies? Because then that can be a vantage point for the oversaturation. Because the idea is then at that point, how can I how can I become a solution for this problem? Now you got all these dispensaries all over the place. I right. got all these different people that smoke now. Okay, cool. But you got them going to all these different places for different reasons. I might go over here because, oh, maybe the price was right. I might go over here because, oh, I just happened to be at the store and I need to stop at a dispensary. I might go here because I'm with my people and that's where they go. So how with all these different options can a dispensary stay afloat? Because you got to be able to go amongst all this traffic. So I mean, at a point in time, that oversaturation is going to create a market where companies like people who do podcasting or e even just anything in media where you're an influencer, you know, that's where you get a lane and opportunity where you have a following, you can help those specific companies create traction. So that way you got centralized customers going straight to them for a reason. Why? Because you are the influencer. You influence their decision. So what would make your uh, pop-up shop or is this a dispensary? Okay, so with the pop-up shop, how I got into that is because I, shout out to Spring GR, make sure people that are looking to be entrepreneurs, I highly recommend you going through the Spring GR program that's in Grand Rapids, Michigan, because they definitely did help push me up with even elevating with my business, but giving me the, the tools and resources I need and also information to be able to take things to the next level. So with the pop-up, my whole idea was even going through Spring GR and you know figuring out how I'm gonna make my business make money, I was kind of thinking like, okay, entrepreneurs, what they have a problem with is creating the idea, sticking with it, and then putting it out. So it's like, once you create the idea, okay, what's, what is it gonna be that's gonna make money? Boom, the blunt spread, that's how I'm monetizing. So what is it gonna be the next phase of actually getting it out to mass market and make more money off of it? Well, 
I thought about it. I mean, I seen yeah. a pop up shop. I'm like, honestly, that's gonna be the easiest way. Cause think about it. Anybody that has, let's say, I'll, and I'll just talk about my past because it's already in the past. I was locked up and incarcerated behind cannabis. So when cannabis was illegal, I ended up catching a case off of that. So that's what actually got my mind into, okay, how can I make something off of this? Because during my time of doing different things, I noticed how people were influenced by cannabis. Right. So then it's like, okay, with it becoming legal, how can you take that same influential pattern and put it in, into something that's productive and you can create a lucrative system around it? So I'm like, okay, since social media is a thing where, oh, you get on it, if people attract to you for whatever reason, they click in you, you putting out clickbait, I mean, shoot, you might as well make a show. Definitely. What type of products do you got at this shop? So with the with the pop-up shop, I'm actually going to have um, the blunt spray, and then I'm also going to have, now, you, they, everybody been raving over the Stanley Cups, okay? People seeing that viral uh, commercial. For the ones that don't know, tell them what the Stanley Cups is. So the Stanley Cup, it's a it's a durable cup that it was this it, okay. So there was, it was this video of this lady that I seen. I think it was like on TikTok or something. But um, on that video, the cup was withstood a fire. The car caught on fire, wow. and inside the cup was ice still. Wow. In a car that the flames were already gone, cup. It made it through, it didn't melt, and then inside, and then guess what? Inside of it, she, the lady shook the cup, inside of it, ice. So that's the reason why the Stanley Cup blew up and took a lot of traction, because it's like, okay, that's a that's a hell of a marketing move right there. Yeah. That, that's, yeah a, that's, that's a hell of a marketing move. If you need a cup, yeah, <laughs> come grab one of these. Because mm -hmm. it's like, okay, yeah, it withstood that. But, got something even better for y'all. For the people that like to party, Oh, yeah, you like to listen to your jam. Oh, why not take your jam and sip with it? We're going right. to be producing to y'all a Smoker's Daily Speaker Cup. You yeah, got the regular good. option, or you can drink out of a regular Smoker's Daily Cup, or you got one that you can toss some beats on to. And whatever your favorite song is, say it's Scissor, Snooze. You're going to be snoozing away while you tipping whatever you tipping. <laughs> so, hey, Stanley ain't got nothing on that. So that's what we're gonna also have, something that's coming out into the market. As far as like merch, items like this, we're gonna have that coming a little bit later. No worries on that. Website will be coming out soon. Y'all also be able to buy it online, so no worries. But you can definitely come and get this in the Smokers Daily Speaker Cup. And that's why I'm doing this, y'all, because like I was saying, with the, the Spring GR portion, I'm trying to help other entrepreneurs that are afraid to get out here, to get out here. Let's get your first sales, get that confidence, get that momentum going. As a community, if we come together as one, we grow. That's what's up. Well, tell us about the um, podcast, The Smokers. Is it called Smokers, Smokers Daily? Daily? Yep. Okay, so with The Smokers Daily Podcast, uh, we actually have some more episodes coming out. And to those that have been you know, keeping up, I see I got some, some new subscribers and whatnot. The reason why we got the weight is because on the back end, I'm working to get this product where it needs to be so that way y'all got it and it can be accessible. So no worries, we got some more episodes coming. I'm gonna send a few at a time just to keep y'all engaged. So no worries on that. So uh, yeah, the, the Smokers Daily Podcast, that show was basically created to be an information hub, to educate. There's different Is things. Is it educating the youth or educating on uh, cannabis? So my, my target market would be troubled millennials, especially like myself, because I come from an era and time. Change. Yeah, where yeah, we, like, I was introduced into uh, social media. Yeah. At, like, when I was in middle school. So, people that are like millennials and, and whatnot, we, we were in the middle. We were in the middle of those kids that actually went outside and played and had fun. And yeah, then we kind of migrated head. into, <laughs> oh, the phone, the cell phone. Mail, yeah. Social media. Yeah. yeah. That kind of messed up a lot of kids. Because exactly. I'm old school. We was outside, we mm -hmm. was at the park. Yeah. It was, it was a punishment to stay in the house. Yeah. But now these new kids, they got the PlayStation 5, the yeah. Xbox, and the iPhone. They That's... don't want to go nowhere with the internet. You know what I'm saying? So Agreed. they just stuck on their phone all day or on the game all day. So... You know, what about the ones that's outside getting into trouble? Is that who you're trying to target? Or do you want the new ones to get off the game and, you know, be active? So, the whole idea with um, this show is to target people in the age range of 18 to 33. Oh, okay. Because with cannabis, I mean, me, I'm gonna be honest, like, I, I did start younger than 18. 
But I didn't become a heavy actual like everyday smoker till I was like way older, till like about 24, 25. And that's when I started, you know, taking it to where I'm like, oh, I'm smoking every day. Yeah, literally, smokers daily. That's how we came with the whole idea, cause you smoke daily, smoke day, every day. So, yeah, as I as I got older, started smoking more. But that's my target group, 18 to 33. And the objective here is to help transform the minds of the individuals that are stuck in the cycle, the cycle of oh, the only way to get money if you come from the urban community is to hustle. I mean, no, that's entrepreneurship. You just need to be, you just have to have the right person influencing you and helping you get the resources and information. That's really all it takes. If you understand how to go out here and make your own money, and it might not be the best way to go do it, let's take those skills, let's harbor them, put the right information and resources in front of you, and then let you execute. That's gonna help. When we talk about how in the black community, the dollar disappears so fast, it doesn't stay in long enough to even right. make any sense. That's right. what we're talking about now when we create ownership to where we now create that in our families to where we spend that dollar differently. Yeah, they say the black dollar only lasts 10 minutes in the hood. We, we gotta but make that the, change. Uh, Chinese people circulate 33 times in their hood, you mm -hmm. know? And we consumers, you know what I'm saying? We always buying, buying, buying. Mm -hmm. But we never make a profit of anything. We gotta learn how to be entrepreneurs and start our own businesses. You know, Donald Trump don't even pay taxes. And most companies don't have to pay taxes if you got a business. But people don't know that. They're like, oh, he's crooked for not paying. But if you got a business, you don't have to. You know what I'm saying? There's ways to write it off. The power of tax deductions. And that's what they're not teaching us in public schools. They're yeah. not going to teach you how to teach you that. <laughs> how to be a piece of the pie. Right. They want you to try to rush and do everything you can to get a little slice. You're a slave still. <laughs> they train you to be a slave, bro. <laughs> That's what they really training you to Agreed. do. You go to school, they go to college and get a fucking job that's not gonna even pay you the amount that you spent to get the degree. You know, you don't spend 150,000 in college, you come out making 20, 25 dollars an hour and you ain't even in your field. And, and this is the kicker. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you what really mentally stabilizes people into that mindset. Yes, you got that degree, right? Yeah. But then once you get that job, you know to shut up and not talk too loud. Why? <laughs> because that degree just got you there and you have to pay off that debt. You have a chain and ball around your leg. Right. So you will perform and do what's needed to pay that mortgage and pay off that debt. So you're going to shut up and take it. Yeah. That's how you're programmed. You're not going to get in that job and say, oh, well, I don't like how you're talking to me. I believe I can go further. No. <laughs> yeah, you're you never going to think like that. Why? Because you got that extensive debt that said, you did that for that piece of paper. Now make it count. Right. And you got everybody that's around you saying, make it count. Down to your family. That's mental stabilization. They already put the plan out in motion. You go to the facilities that, that basically put it in your mind that this is what you are, this is what you're going to do. Then you got people around you that's going to continuously put it and kick you in your ass and yeah, do what he said. That's your family. Them, them your friends, your, your social circle. That's everybody kicking you in your ass saying continue to go on this path of what them people said to do. That's what's up. Hey, tell us what we can expect from the pop-up shop coming this Saturday. Okay, so with the pop-up shop coming up this Saturday, you can expect love and laughs. We got Dave the Comedian coming out. He's going to have... Shout out to Dave Jones. Yeah, Let's shout out to Dave time. Jones. Let's, Let's go. Comedy show. It's going to be later that night at the Ambrosia Theater. Make sure y'all get there. But Dave is going to be there at the pop-up shop. Last minute tickets if anybody is interested in going out make sure y'all come get them last minute tickets from the pop-up shop and make sure you also connect with one of the vendors pop up and buy something nice for your boo okay mm -hmm. and i'm gonna have a dope special for y'all these blunt sprays i got three cents i'm gonna be running a special three for 25 they're normally 9.99 but i'm gonna do three for 25 and if you buy all three for the 25 you get a free gram from Cloud Cannabis. That's what's up. Get on me. Hey, Shout out to Cloud. Out <laughs> Shout out to Cloud. Shout out to Cloud Cannabis. Tell us about um, your social media handles, where they can find you and your upcoming events. Okay. So right now you can find me on Facebook, um, Aaron Thomas. And then you can also go to uh, my business page, which is Smokers Daily Podcast. Um, on Instagram is smokers daily underscore podcast. So make sure y'all go and follow me. And then on uh, YouTube is smokers daily podcast. So make sure y'all go to my channel and subscribe. That's what's up. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, man. You got any shout outs? 
Um, yeah, I want to go and shout out uh, Greg Morris. I definitely appreciate you for coming on board and hosting the show. Great, great dude. Very funny. Um, I also want to do a shout out once again to Spring GR. Spring GR. Um, yes. Hey, anybody looking to be an entrepreneur, make sure y'all get in. Oh, and I also want to give a big shout out to Miss Lomax at the Business Exchange. Y'all need y'all taxes done, make sure y'all go holler at Miss Lomax at the Business Exchange. If, you, if you're trying to get any connections with any entrepreneurs, go to the Business Exchange. Yes. Right now. <laughs> yes. And I want to give a big shout out to God because without, yeah. without, without our creator, we wouldn't be here to be able to be as magnificent as we are. So when you look at that, that, that higher self that's within you, that's that connection to God. So as we continue to be great, let's make sure we just get that thanks because that's what's gonna keep blessing us to even get in bigger positions. You know, things that we see in our mind, them not dreams, them visions. You just gotta figure out how to get there. All right, man, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Shout yes. out to Gun Michigan, man. We out of here, one love. Peace. Peace.